Try to keep it push the, the, the foot on the hips. The leg and the back, try to don't stay like a, a piece of wood here. Try to be mobile. Every time they push, try to use your balance. Okay? The right leg is going to stay more uh, in position and the back leg needs to be moving. Okay? If you try to stay still, any hook is great, you go. Okay? Try to be like flat in your toes. Okay? Don't be in your toes, be flat in your foot and always moving. Okay? We're going to use. I'm gonna use your open hands to push the deliver down. As I push the deliver down, I'm gonna extend my leg and I'm gonna move a little bit back. So look, I push the deliver down and at the same time I move a little bit back. Okay? So grab my pants. I want you guys to use the grip in the pants, okay? Because this position works better when the person has pants grip. Nowadays you guys know like most of the people use this grip, it's a better way to control the ankle. You're gonna I'm gonna explain to you guys a way to escape from this control. Okay, first. So open hands on the knee, push the lever down, start to move a little bit back. Keep control of the leg. Okay? What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna open my knee outside. Okay, this position, if you just open the knee outside, sometimes the delahip stay tight. When you push, try to open one, two, spread the leg a little bit more away. So look how I push the lever down and I go look with my look at my foot. I go one, two, I spread his leg a little bit away, and then I open my knee. Okay? When I open my knee, I want to slide my knee over his shin to break this grip. When you go, guys, you cannot do it slow. If you go very slow here, your leg is going to get stuck. Okay? So keep control of the pants. So look, I push the lever down. It's not wrong to go from here. Just open your knee and go. But I try. That's something uh, I use to escape. I use this position to escape. When a person has this grip, that helps a lot. If you go... When you take the deliver out, you go one, two. You split the person's legs a little bit more away. You have a more leverage as you go. You open your knee. When I open my knee, I start to go this way. My hands go to the floor to don't fall. And as I place my knee on the floor, I'm gonna win two hyper, look. This way. Okay, and I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna place my legs there again. You guys gonna do three times. In the third time, I want you guys to go knee cut in the same side, okay? It's really hard to pass three ways. I want you guys to put yourself in a cut and you're gonna work from there after, all right? So look, I'm gonna push the leg down. I take the leg out, I start to kind of like step back. I go one, two, spring his leg apart. My knee go outside. I post my hands on the floor to don't fall as I go and I increase my speed to break this way. Two. So look at the third time, I'm gonna put myself in a cut position. De la riva down. I spread his legs apart, I skate, and I put myself in the cut. Okay? Maintain this grip. When you go in the cut, try to grab the collar stays too. Okay, I want you guys to start to lean for in this position. Okay, to be heavy. Right? First on bottom, if you know how to play reverse la riva, if you can play reverse la riva, try to get the reverse la riva hook as your partner go in the cut. Okay? So again, so foot is on the hips. Wrap the pants, don't wrap inside, don't wrap outside. Wrap in the end of the pants and close your elbow. Okay? Try to be in a good balance here. Keep the leg. I'm gonna take the leg out, look. I'm gonna push him down, and I pop my leg back. I go one, two, and spring his legs apart. Now I open my knee, and I go. One. Two. If you want to be smart in your grips, let it go as your partner. <laughs> right well. <laughs> Three. And go any cut. Okay, try to be a good base. Knee on top of the thigh. Look how it's already pre reversed. Okay, try to keep the reversal even if you can. If you cannot, at least knee shield. Okay? Let's get partners. I want you guys to do both sides. Three times each person. Like that. Very hard to move, right? So you kind of like, a, you're, you want to try, if you pass standing, you want to move, right? And if you want to move and the person has control about the pants, it's hard to move. Yesterday I explained you guys how to jump over the leg as you escape from the biceps, okay? And break the grip by controlling the sleeve and kicking back and then you shuffle to the side. Yesterday you work from here or going to the knee cut through, okay? The person has a good grip. If you manage it, you push the leg all the way down. And if you see space in between 
the elbow and the hips, you guys can throw yourself in the cut pass. Then the power of the of the your body body weight is gonna break the grip as you go. Okay. So yesterday I explained you guys how to pass through the legs, right? When you jump over the leg. Okay. So today I'm gonna escape from the pants control by sliding my knee over the shin. It's the other very good way to escape when the person has this grip. Okay, in my opinion. So bring the leg, uh, bring, break this, this sleeve, bring it up is a very good way. Try to pass more to the other way. When the person still have the grip, if you can create space, keep the grip. Okay? If you can create space between you and your partner, the person has a grip in the pants, to the other pass is a very good way. The grip doesn't matter much. But when you're really stuck, when the person has a very good control, slide over the shin is a, is a great way to get out of this control. Okay, somehow I need to escape off the control he has. Because if I still stuck, it's gonna be hard to pass. Okay? So the bicep is gonna be here. A lot of times the leg is gonna be bent, sometimes the leg is gonna be extended. When the leg is bent, you have a more chance to palm. Okay, if the leg is, is, is kind of like full extent, it's hard to palm it. Look. Okay, go more. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna pop the deliver out, I'm gonna extend my leg. When I extend my leg, when I say extend your leg, guys, when you pop, you need to maintain your leg pretty much full extent. Because if you pop the deliver out and you bend your knee again, the hook is gonna, it's going back here. Okay, it's gonna place the hook back. When you take the deliver out, try to maintain your leg full extent. So look how the hands are still pushing the knee down. So what are you gonna do now? If I try to just palm or slide my elbow up, it's kind of like a hard when the person has a good control. I'm gonna use the other hands when I'm moving. I'm gonna move myself back, and I'm gonna use my hands is on the knee, close to his ankle right here. I explained you guys. I saw this position. Uh, Lieta Junior from Atos using against Marcio Andre in the fight to win. Okay, Marcio Andre had this type of control, exactly this control, and he's, he's using this technique I'm gonna explain you guys today uh, to clear the biceps when you are stuck, okay? I'm gonna move back and I'm gonna try to go as tall as I can go. I go tall, okay? And I'm gonna use my hands to push the leg down, like this, look. As my elbow going up, I push the leg down, look, in the same time. So look, I push the leg down and my elbow going up, look. Same time. When I, when I control the leg, I'm gonna close my elbow and I come back to the other heel. Now I'm gonna escape off this control. I open my knee and I, I escape. The reason why I told you guys uh, to go in the cut is because when you hear, the person know you're gonna try to the other side, they're gonna try to open the leg to defend the guard. And you're gonna have a chance to, to go to the knee cut position. Okay, understand that? The person won't do me, Professor, please. When you slide, when you escape, do they escape? When you escape, the person is going to frame and is going to try to face your guard. He's not going to like just let you pass to the other side. Okay? You're going to escape, but the leg is free. Look, look how my leg is free. You escape from the grip, but my leg is still free. Look. Okay? Post your hands. So the leg is free. I'm going to try to replace my guard. That's the reason why you go to Nikkei. Understand that? Yeah? So let's do this part. So now the, the person is going to have the biceps. De la Riva down, keep her leg full extend. Extend one. Now I go back, I pop it out, and I come back to De la Riva. So it's very quick. You go here and here, and you control. Open her leg, skate, put herself in the cut. Okay, we're gonna do this part now. I want you to the person bottom. Make sure you keep your knee shield and a strong frame in the car. Okay? Then you're gonna continue. So, de la riva down, pop the leg out, open, skate, knee cut. Okay? Let's get practice. Uh, what I have been seeing you guys uh, doing on bottom, what is the right thing to do when you're on bottom. But I want you guys to understand how uh, to pass if the person do that, okay? Because you cannot just accept the person replace the guard, okay? I have been seeing a lot of this. Look, you guys move your chest away, you start to create space with the knee, and you step the leg in the hips. 
Then I'll have the person bought on top move back and then I'll replace the guard. You lose the connection. Okay? You understand? So same thing from half guard. Imagine you have a bonus in front. Imagine half guard. If you're here, the person starts to replace the guard and you just accept the person go here and lock the close guard. Okay, you pretty much accept the, the position. You accept the guy, you replace the guard. You already have one leg in, you try to do your best to maintain. Okay, so again, when you guys get here now, your partner's gonna be in a good position. I want the person on top and bottom do this. Look, you guys gonna move your chest and push your knee and you step your leg in the hips like this. Look. Look at the okay, you guys gonna step your leg in the hips like this. All right, understand what you're gonna do on bottom? Okay, so let me go on top. I think the common mistake is place your way back. If you place your way back, you'll be way easier to the person who step this leg on the, on the hips. Okay? You wanna try to maintain your way in your partner. Okay, of course you're not gonna do like this. Okay, but you need to put your way in your partner. Okay? When the person step in the hips, step back. When the person step in the hips, I think you guys are afraid uh, to the person love the triangle, something like that, because it looks like my arm is inside, but I should, he doesn't have the foot in my biceps. Look, I don't have the control of the leg. It's not triangle here. Maybe if the person step in your biceps, maybe you should be afraid. But uh, here, it's not in there. Okay, you still have a very good grip. What I'm gonna do, the leg, look how the, le the foot is in my hips, kinda like a hook. I'm gonna shuffle a little bit more to the side, and I'm gonna place my knee behind his knee now. I have the grip in the collar. I'm gonna do this, okay, I'm gonna shuffle, and now I'm gonna long step. When I long step, I'm gonna be on top of his leg. I'm gonna long step on top of his leg. I'm gonna place my elbow on the floor, I'm gonna long step, look. Look how the leg is, is off just in the way. When I get here, the most of the time the person's gonna start to bring the bottom leg back to replace the guard or turn, like this, okay? What I want you guys to do, I don't want you guys to stop in the leg drag position. I want you guys uh, in the long step position. I want you guys to go to leg drag. I think it's a better combination because you guys gonna uh, end up in the back door. The person gonna expose the back after and it's easier uh, to replace the guard, uh, to pass the guard, okay? So again, when you end up here, your partner's gonna move the chest away, stepping your hips. As soon as your partner's stepping your hips, don't move him back. You shuffle to the side, your knee go, look how my knee is more on top of his thigh. My knee go on top of his knee, and I long step, look. and I move to the other side. I want you guys to stop and leg drag, okay? You long step just to escape from the bottom leg, and you pass through leg drag on the other side. It's a very smart combination, okay? Uh, but uh, the most important today is you guys understand, don't let your partner replace the guard because the person step in your hips. Okay, shuffle a little bit more to the side, keep the pressure in the collar, you're gonna be able to maintain position. I think you guys are doing too much of this. So, the person starts to push you, step in the hips, you say, ah, the guard is back. Then you come back here, then you step. You know? You guys understand? Yeah. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Keep your leg straight, take the biceps control, Open leg, escape, you get here. You start to pass, look, I wanna pass. He needs to replace, his job is replace. He's gonna start to step in my hips. When he step, I shuffle to the side, and I don't step on top of the leg. And the leg drag to the other side. Try to finish the leg drag by squeeze your elbow and head down. Okay, don't stop the leg drag like this. As soon as you leg drag, I want you guys to try pot over a part. You guys gonna say again? Yes or no? Leg straight. Take out, open. Go in the cut. Right, replace. You start to replace, I shuffle to the side. I move a little bit more this way. Now when I long step, I'm gonna long step on top of the leg. My whole weight go on top of his leg. There's no way to him replace this guard. I open the floor. Leg drag. Okay? Let's do it. Would you?